So before I get any further into this, first of all, stop police brutality in Zambia. Check the hashtag I posted um, yesterday on my IG. You could check my post. You could also go to Twitter. You could go to Facebook. You could go to reliable news sources and find out what happened, what's happening, what's being said. It's an important um, hashtag and I think if you're in Zambia or you're a Zambian and you're on social media, it's a hashtag you should be pushing and getting people to be aware of. So before I get into what I want to do, okay? So I have a guest who, is, who I've been meaning to speak to forever. We tried an interview once before, it didn't work out. Um, so I'm just going to try to get my guest to come on quickly because we're talking about music and artists that have just dropped projects um and my guest is here so i'm just going to try and invite them quickly first we always have trouble with ig so hello hey how are you doing you are like the best ever you know um just <laughs> you know agreeing to do this um you know like with with no real warning so i appreciate that um please let tell people tell people who might not know who you are who you are okay my name is dennis red i am a music artist i am an activist and uh just a general nice guy <laughs> I was I was going to I was going to say you know I was thinking those words I was like, a general nice guy but it's good you said it um, yeah. you just you released you or someone on your record label released a project mm -hmm. uh, recently a video you were promoting that on your socials but I, before we get to whoever is on your record label who you work with I want to talk about your work mm -hmm. okay because the, mm -hmm. the whole interview from before was about your project. So talk about the projects that you've dropped, where people can find them. Okay. All right. So, um, I, this year I dropped two projects, two EPs, um, that's no names and no names go, which is like a side B to, 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 to no names. Um, they're actually available everywhere, uh, on every top streaming site. Just look me up, Dennis Red, D E W N I S. They're actually available and available for sale also on um, on Ambassador Sunny. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I, I appreciate that you've given us that rundown and you've told people because mm -hmm. from before when um, No Names dropped, we did an interview, but I don't know what happened to that one. It didn't really <laughs> work out. The sound wasn't great, but what inspired yeah. you to do No Names? first and then no mm -hmm. names gold what was the inspiration behind that who did you collaborate with mm -hmm. so um we start with no names yes please all right what inspired me um just i think um i'm an artist who's sort of i love speaking my mind like this the state of my heart and um i'm not afraid to take you down certain victories, certain failures that I've had in my life, in my personal life, and just use it as a weapon in my art to connect with people. So yeah. what inspired No Names was basically just my just my relationships with people, uh, females to be spe um, specific, um, ups and downs that I have had, and yeah, all the victories, all the losses, and I just, I just decided, like, you know what? Let me speak on this uh, because I'm one person who, who loves to be like real on, 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 on my records, and I always, someone was, once told me that you always make songs with your heart on your sleeve, uh, and you're so comfortable at it. So yeah, basically those relations, and after like no names, got a very good reception like it was an amazing reception and so i was like okay you know what we could actually bring a whole new dimension to this by adding more songs so that's when i decided like okay you know what? let's let's 
just in like like six more or something and just call it no names good so that we complete the story because no names was f from the perspective of a man in um who is in a relationship who wants to walk away and no names gold was from the perspective of a man who has been left now by the woman who wanted to walk away so i was just giving two sides of the spectrum yeah okay mm -hmm. okay okay i i appreciate it because i remember in our in our last conversation i was talking about how okay you know you're really in your feelings <laughs> um and then yeah. something else you did mention that you are an activist mm -hmm. which is true in case people don't know they don't follow you yet you know you're always talking about mental health you're always talking about um the other day you were posting a lot about um your friend who suffered racism yeah uh, you're also posting now about the hashtag that's uh come back and is more popular and really relevant right now on Zambia mm -hmm. social media which is end yeah. police brutality yeah. and I, I i want to find out from you why you think it's important for you first of all yes to use your social media to talk about your work but also to talk about issues that are close to you that you feel are relevant why do you think it's important for you to use your platform to talk about these things Okay. Um, first of all, I, I believe my, I think my platform is, is, is not a mistake that it was given. Even if I reach out, there's people who reach out millions, maybe even if I reach out hundreds or thousands with my platform, I believe there's a certain sense of responsibility that I have to carry out. Whether, or, whether I like it or not, I am a role model to some people. I've heard certain people say, no, I'm not a role model. Like you actually are, even when you don't realize it. So yeah. there's burden by default. It's, it's actually a beautiful burden because it's a learning process. Um, there's that burden by default that comes with you standing for something, you impacting uh, people. Because for me, I always say music is, um, it's, um, it's, it's not the final destination. Music is more of a stepping stone to get you on certain platforms, to get you on certain conversations. Music isn't where it ends. So let's say I want to advance my cause for mental health. I would use the platforms that music gave me uh, to talk about that. I'm talking about police brutality. I'll use the platforms that music gave me. So music is just like a stepping stone to open up your world to... to, to, to to do a whole lot more. So when you have that platform, automatically my natural response is to be responsible and is to stand for something and is to also pour out on issues that affect me. And partly because I just can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, I appreciate that um, you've been, you know, you've been honest with that and you've shared the why you know, I mean, guys, if you don't, I mean, uh, people who will listen to this later, I will put it on, on YouTube later and then later on, on my yeah. podcast. Guys, if you're, if you're listening, um, we have, someone's just joined us, Young Verbal, hi. Um, you know, I follow Dennis Red. Yes, okay, because I'm really following the Zambia music scene, but it's also a joy to follow Dennis Red because he talks about issues um, some people are afraid to talk about these issues. And one thing I'm really a little bit miffed about right now, um, people are, are busy posting their nice photos, their nice projects from the year. And they're not yeah. really talking about end police brutality, which is like mm -hmm. the thing that's really um, hot is a wrong term, but like it's, it's mm -hmm. hurting a lot of people, you know, way beyond just the social media posts. So I appreciate exactly. an artist or someone that I follow that is also honest and uses their platform mm -hmm. for this, you know, um, this is probably no, this is probably, this is my last interview for this period festive season. And I, and I want to say a big thank you, first of all, for making the time to come on. It was appreciate. really impromptu. But <laughs> But like you were like, ah, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And I appreciate that. So, so thank you. Tell people, um, I know you've said you're on every platform, but tell them your socials because people need to come and check out your YouTube channel. They need to yeah. check out your, well, your IG and mm -hmm. so on. Just tell us your socials and where your work is. Yeah. All right. Um, my social account is basically at Dennis Red 93 
D E W N I S R E D number nine three. Uh, that's on Twitter, IG, Facebook dot dot com forward slash at uh, forward slash Dennis Red nine three. That's my fan page, or you could simply send me a friend request. I think it's full though. <laughs> it's Dennis uh, Dennis Red as well. That's my personal account, but I just I, I use it as well for my music. And yeah, my music available on every platform. Just look me up, Dennis Red, D E W N I S R E D. You want Dennis Red wants you to buy his music also. I think it, it would be a really awesome Christmas present if 10, 20, 30 people who listen to this mm-hmm. go and buy his music from Vesasani, Vesasani.com. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I can't show uh, Vesasani on command. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm not going to watch. I can't see the, you know, so it's good that you pronounce it. Um, but yes, thanks everyone that, that's coming on. I want you to go and check out Dennis Red, which is, who is like um, the artist I'm speaking to, I've spoken to. This will be available on my YouTube and then later on my podcast. Um, if you have any projects, I always say this, but if you have any projects later, um, please tag me and um, let's do another interview in the new year. I'm so proud of you. I don't know if I said it. Maybe I did. Mm-hmm. But I'm so proud that you put out work. I mean, mm-hmm. it couldn't have been easy. And the video, the video you were promoting, the other one, where did you shoot it? The one with the plane, with Theo Nasser, <laughs> with Mr. <laughs> FNP. You all refuse to go to my, to my bear plot. Um, but tell me what, sorry, I'm, 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 Take, making a sale way, but I have to ask you, where did you shoot it? <laughs> yeah. How what was the inspo for that? Because I think it's like, it's bomb. It's really, really nice. Okay, so um, Destro FNP is, that's FNP Friendly Neighborhood Poet. Um, he's one of the artists um, that's signed to my agency. That's uh, Focus Talent. Uh, it's not a record label, though, though we actually look like we are because of how how much work we sign put in. Sign me too, sign me too. I know. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, so we, we're actually managing talents. And so um, we we put out that video uh, came as a result of just us just wanting to close off the year with something epic uh, on Destro's end. Um so uh, we were like, okay, um, he loves, we're asking what, what tracks he's feeling and what people are feeling. And he said he's feeling anti-hero. And we're like, okay, let's combine it together with a song. Um, his project should be coming up next year. Uh, I know he's going to be mad at me for giving you the scoop. But yeah, it's coming up next year. We're just finalizing the track listing and everything. And so Second. we we picked out, yeah. <laughs> We, we, we picked out um, one of the songs um, and we're like, okay, this has to be epic. These are two epic songs. And then just an idea came to mind and just said like, you know what? Um, let's, 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 let's make it, let's make this like the apocalypse. So that's when we're like, okay, the closest place we could have the apocalypse is uh, probably like Bear Airfield. And there's that. That's, we went to Zasti. Uh, that's Zambia Aeronautics Service Training Institute, right opposite the airport, where they train wow. uh, pilots. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, I, like, I mean, <laughs> finish. Sorry. Yeah. So so we we, we, we took a drive there, and um, they were extremely helpful. Actually, like they gave us a response like in a day. They were extremely helpful. They we we wrote them a letter. Just said no. We just have a guy, um, he's, he's going to get you through, they provided us with someone. Um, they opened their hangar and they're like, feel free. And we, we, we made the most of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it, it came together for you guys. The visuals are great. I love the mm-hmm. fact that, again, I, I'm a huge fan of collabs uh, amongst yeah. creators, amongst artists. So kudos mm-hmm. kudos uh, and, and, and tell the show not to be mad about uh, <laughs> the, break, the breaking news but i'm really really proud yeah. of, of you guys and congratulations to focus congratulations to mm-hmm. you congratulations to the that you're working with um mm-hmm. and yeah it's, it's what a way to, to end the year i mean i haven't been tweeting or retweeting because i was just focusing a lot on promoting this giveaway that i had on my on my platform but yeah, I, I, I'm I not tweeting that, yeah. anymore so much I will be retweeting everyone 
and, and yeah and all the links please just send me the necessary links for destro stuff for destro stuff you, mm -hmm. yours that you want me to put in the description box of the video for youtube because that's where this is going to go yeah right. um yeah. thanks slick one it's good to see you critic worldwide critic doesn't want to do an interview with me i am so sad about this um uh, no, that's but elusive, man. Everyone, that one. <laughs> i know but everyone that's that showed up we we appreciate you and um please um black rose the artist just joined us also um mm -hmm. compliments of the season everyone and stay safe and hopefully we can we can talk again in the new year, Dennis. Red. I appreciate you making the time for me. Okay. No problem. Uh, I'm always down. I'm always down. I'll probably have more content that I'm putting out. I was advertising my my house project. So uh, right now it's just not the time to like get back into the marketing campaign. You have to read the room. But um, yeah, it's it's coming pretty soon. Good, 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 good. We we appreciate all the all the greetings, um, you know, the Merry Christmases. Thank you so much, everyone that's that's popped in. Um, but yeah, sure, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we we will talk again when you drop new projects in the new year. Again, congratulations and thanks for for your honesty, mm -hmm. okay, and for using your platform for good. Uh huh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. You're always showing love to me and the guys at Focus. And I always tell the guys that, you know what, when, 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 when DJ Inu to calls, you guys just have to, like, we have to show up. If you can't show up on a specific day, make time. They, they know it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Radio DJ Inu too, you know, make, make, make time, make time, make time. No, anyway, <laughs> much love and please take care. Okay. Thanks again. All right. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Bye-bye, right, bye-bye.